you've probably heard of Manus, and you've probably heard of ChatGPT. Now, this tool, which is called GenSpark, is like ChatGPT and Manus having a baby. And it's magnificent, honestly. I've never seen something like this. It's too good. First of all, just Google for it, like this, GenSpark AI, and it's gonna be over at GenSpark.ai. The homepage is gonna look like this. Just make yourself an account with Google and have a look at this. Generate video, generate image, deep research, call for me, and all the other agents. So we're gonna explore a few of these options. I'm gonna focus on agents and some of the content creation and one little tool which is, well, let's just say you haven't seen anything like this. First of all, I'm gonna show you some of these examples. For example, I asked GenSpark to make me travel plan for my Stockholm holiday, right? And as you can see, it gives you everything that you need. First of all, it's gonna give you what are you gonna do on day one, what are you gonna do on day two, and it's gonna provide you with the pictures. And of course, it's gonna provide you with the hotels. And then it just goes on and on. It gives you the videos as well. And here on the right hand side here, you can ask whatever, well, whatever you're interested in. But now let me just show you, if you click on all agents here, you will have a chance to see what else can be done with this. And for example, I really like this. AI call for you to make a restaurant reservation. So all you have to do is to provide the link to it and then just type in this, make a dinner reservation for four people on April 26th, mentioning one person has a shellfish allergy and another is vegetarian. And down there, you can see the transcript of this. Aloha, and thank you for calling POEs, located on Coronado Island, offering spectacular waterfront views. Good evening, thank you for calling POEs in Coronado. My name is Jill, I can assist you. Hi, Jillian. I'd like to make a dinner reservation. Could we check availability? Um, yeah, for what day? April 26th, please. April 26th, for how many? For four people. For what time? Now this is just incredible. I just can't imagine what was it for the person that was taking the reservation, you know, the employee in the restaurant, but this is gonna be the future. And also what is cool about this one is that you will see in real time all of the tools that it uses and all of the websites that it visits in order to give you the full summary of whatever you're searching for. Now, my favorite feature, and it's funny. You have this, and I already have an opportunity for you to make money with this. This is used in order to see how different clouds will look on other people or yourself. So, for example, you can try these dresses on your pictures, or if you find something which is male, here's Trump here, I don't wanna use him, but I'll just search for something which is a male outfit. As you can see, the most of it are female versions of it. But I'm sure I can find something here. I saw it before. Here we go. There's a male try-on feature. So if you click on this try-on feature and you upload your own photo, well, this is how it's gonna look like. So for example, this is my photo with this shirt right here. If I put the photo where you can see my legs, I would have these trousers as well. So this is really, really good opportunity. Let me just show you with something else. Just make sure your photo is, you know, let me just show you my original one. So this is my original photo here. Make sure you have a full body if you wanna get the trousers as well. So just make sure you upload that photo, but this is usually gonna be your client's photo. So that's what you have to say to them. But yeah, let me just search for something else before I can show you where to market yourself with this. All right, this is it. This is where I have a lot of these. So for example, if I wanted to try this on, I click on try on here, then I can just click on one running option here and I'll just wait a bit. And of course, I'm gonna get this result right here. I don't like the code though. I, I'm more into this version, right? What do you think? So the idea is $1 or $2 in order for people to try on different clouds before they buy something, right? This is gonna be the future, trust me on this one. You can make yourself a gig on Fiverr or an Instagram theme page where you can showcase your work 
first of all, you're gonna do this with your own pictures or just take some people from Pexels and just, you know, make them wear certain stuff. And then your service will be to offer for $1, I would do it for one dollar at the start because you're gonna get many of these and especially from females because well this is where most of your clients are gonna come from and all you have to do is to use this free tool in order to you know put different clothes on your clients so they can decide whether they want to buy that or not also I do recommend that you use Pinterest in order to promote yourself because Pinterest well First of all, it has a lot of traffic. It has 1.3 billion each month. Second of all, 76% of Pinterest user base is female. This is gonna make you really exposed. My recommendation is to use Pinterest and Instagram in a combination because here, for example, you can record your screen by doing this on yourself, let's say, or someone else. And then you can post content on your social media showing people how this works. And honestly, a lot of people will wanna try this on. A lot of people have a lot of second guesses when they're trying to buy clothes online. And this is gonna solve their problems, right? Whenever you wanna make some money online, it is important for you to solve problems. People love solving problems and they love paying money to solve their problems. And this strategy, it's too simple. It's too simple, anyone can do it. And if you price yourself at one or two dollars in order to do something simple as this is, well, most probably you're gonna get 10 or 15 or 20 people per day asking you to do this for them. A lot of people will say, oh no, it's not gonna work. But honestly, you are gonna be one of a kind. You know, I haven't seen something like this anywhere. In fact, I'm gonna try it myself. And if you use Pinterest, well, you have all this audience. Yeah, of course, you can use GenSpark in order to create videos and create videos for other people, you know, content creators or whatever. There's a lot of use cases. For example, you can make an entire video just from this prompt. So for example, recipe for something with video, and then it'll use the recipe and it'll create the video for you using Kling here, right? So it'll edit the video as well. And you can post this on social media right away because first of all, it's gonna be generated it's gonna use 11 labs in order to give you the voiceover as well. And then it will edit the video, the whole video. It's gonna be ready for TikTok or Instagram or whatever. And of course, it doesn't have to be recipes only. This can be used for content creation. So what do you have to do? Just go and explore. It's a free tool to use. It's a Chinese company, yes, but it's a free tool and it has a lot of possibilities. Just go and explore. And if you find something that interests you, well, that's the way to go. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.